Hey everyone, Daikin here. Sorry about no updates in the past couple of days. I wasn't feeling too well so I decided to take some time off, but now I'm ready to spring back into action. Today, I want to talk about something a bit more serious and reflect on the state of the game and where I see it in the future. First off, I want to say this is not an attack on anyone or the devs. These are just my opinions based on the voices of the community and the decisions the devs have made thus far. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. Astro Chronicles has unfortunately been a plague of problems since the beginning, and I think the biggest of them all was the amount of servers to choose from. But I don't think it was necessarily the servers count that was the problem people were having. It was the inability to add and play with people across servers. This one yet major problem has left much left to be desired for, and ultimately led to decline in players very early due to people finding out they couldn't play with their friends unless they were willing to start over. I know the devs have tried to resolve this issue by allowing cross world play, but unfortunately, I think it was a feature that came a little all too late. With very little resources for content, such as what I tried to provide to you all, and the barren feel of the servers at the time, many just felt the game was quote unquote dead on arrival. To be quite honest, I still don't even know if the cross server play allows for people to add each other cross servers or is it just selective in who you see. In any case, it's definitely much better than before to say the least. After this came the controversial nerfing of the MC. The MC I do believe was a bit too strong and a lot of people were not happy with the nerf of the stats after experiencing the great power of the MC. Some even went as far as to saying it made some classes like Guardian unplayable for the first few weeks due to the heavy lowering of stats. However, I felt this move was good for the game. It's good for a sense of progression and for inevitably making us stronger than before with some work. And of course, what would the State of Astro Chronicles reflection be without the talk of the arena outcry and specifically the reflect meta? For those who don't know, the meta of high PvP arena was to have your tank reflect all the damage back to your opponent's party. However, that has now since been reduced to about 30% damage reflected. It's still an extremely powerful tactic, but not nearly as overwhelming as it used to be. The next big controversial decision from the developers was the news of the newest big patch that was removing a lot of the magic gems from dailies and other parts of play. This set the community on an outrage as many felt this was a desperate attempt to make the game pay to play and to screw over the free to play players. Some even thought this was an attempt to just salvage the last rounds of cash before the inevitable closing of all servers due to the game no longer being profitable to maintain. With the recent news of the decline in revenue since the game release, I know how this can be seen as a plausible case. Nor can I rule out the fact that this may have been a move based on greed. With the constant release of 1-2 to two characters a week, countless banners and divination costumes, the amount of magic gems and tickets being used was not enough to summon for everything. Even with the unlimited and monthly pack, it still isn't enough in fact. Not to mention that they took out the ticket from the event rewards to give even less opportunities. All the acts lead up to this being the case of greed. However, the devs have taken note of the outcry and increased the daily amounts of magic gems to something a bit closer to the original amount. I still don't know why this was changed in the first place and I honestly feel it should just be reverted back along with the half cut for purifying the phantasm for the day. If the devs truly believe that progression of players were too fast compared to their scheduled content release schedule, then there are more fair ways to both players to go about it. Of course, with this patch, also came the end of the infamous animation cancelling that gave certain players an edge in all contents of the game. The argument here was that some of the content such as Phantasma is unclearable without such tactics. However, I always argue was the Phantasma really something that was meant to be clearable this early in the game's lifespan? In any case, probably so, as it's quite known that the Phantasm has some insane difficulty spikes when it comes to certain floors, especially early on. Not to mention that some characters have clearing phantasm floors as their bond quest to do. But now with animation cancelling going, players are on a more leveling playing field and a phantasma takes a lot more strategy than raw power and a glitch to clear floors now. So was this good for the game or was it not? Honestly, it's hard to say. It balanced out the playing field also while increasing the difficulty which already is hard enough to some people. Overall, where does the game stand now and does it have a future? Quite frankly, it's hard to say it does have a future at the moment. With its decline in both player base and revenue received, it's hard to say this game will last. However, the devs seem to be trying to make a decent effort to keep a balance of increasing revenue while not butchering its free to play audience, all while creating more compelling content for its players to engage in. 
they are aware of their mistakes and don't want to lose everyone but at the same time they want to increase and have a steady cash flow to maintain their billion servers pay employees to make content that we want to see and other things it's actually quite a rough coexistence that's hard to stabilize and to keep everyone happy from the first time i was invited into a hell cosmic room and i saw two tanks tank swapping to keep aggro while keeping the boss in the opposite direction from the party as we tried our best to dps it down I fell in love with this game. To me, it's an experience I can't get from any of the other gacha games I have played. I truly wish the devs the best to find a solution and to keep providing more great content like Moon Crusade, Astro Conquest, Godhood buffs, and please for the love of everything, a level on cap in the near future, with a story continuation. Also, while it's up to the devs to ultimately decide if the game grows or dies, as the players of the community, I think it's important for us to do our role as well. This is to make it easier for new players to find access to content and to show the compelling sides of the game. I mean after all, if you're still playing after all of this, there has to be something you like right? Anyway, that's all I have for you all in this video. Have you been playing from the beginning? Also what do you think about the state of the game and the future it has regarding all the events we encountered so far? Anyway, if you liked anything I had to say, drop me a like I greatly appreciate it and if you want to hear more from me, follow me on my socials. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when the next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.